Good morning, folks. We've got big hits in cosmology and catastrophism today. Had two videos come out yesterday. We get an update on the long-term solar progression, and we are starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last day on the sun with several small motions, but no major ejections or flares. Corona hold departing, and its solar wind will continue amplifying geospace a few more days. Of note in the corona, a small filament tried to lift away but dissipated at higher altitudes. Southern active region incoming threw a miniature tantrum as it turned onto the Earth-facing disk. And so as we look at the sunspots, the bigger ones are now gone from the north, leaving only these two active regions on the south. Neither one has been tremendously active. The incoming area has a leading spot bigger than the Earth with several light bridges in the active region. We will have eyes on these today. Looking long term at the solar cycle progression next, data from February is in, and it was another month above the expected curve of the cycle. We are literally on the verge of what can be called sunspot maximum, a tiny bit more sunspot activity, and a lot more in the expected X-ray flare range. We haven't even begun the major portion of the cycle yet. Let's get a quick note of disappointment up next. Ruling comes down that ResearchGate is liable for what its users publish, meaning we could be seeing fewer free-to-read papers on there if their appeal fails. Eyes on that as well. Up next, folks, last year we saw epic papers suggesting dark energy wasn't some magical, mystical thing, just a data error and the illusion of cosmic expansion. We also saw an even better study suggesting that magnetic repulsion was essentially the dark energy today. We've got the scientists on the doorstep and the truth in the scopes as we should get our best chance yet to determine which paradigm is correct. Those studies are taking place right now, results expected later this year. Let's take an easy one to slide into catastrophism next. As is always the case when looking back over this length of record, it's the Heinrich events and the dansgaard oschger events that are the major notable points in that record, the former lining up with the geomagnetic changes as well. And so we go from the past up to now where folks, this dwarfs the racing pigeons gone missing, the flocks of birds falling from the sky, the unusual shark sightings, orca attacks, or the unusual gray whale mortality event on the American West Coast. This is a full-scale ecological shift ongoing in the North Atlantic. From zooplankton to salmon and mackerel, there's no aspect of the ecosystem, not under major duress and undergoing unprecedented changes. The shift is beginning to hit the biosphere across the world and elevation. And last but not least, folks, the polar mesospheric radar echoes are shifting to lower latitudes. This was a huge point we made last year. The polar mesospheric echoes are increasing intensity, and while many blame CO2, we know that electric charge and dust play the hugest roles in their formation, as well as geomagnetic activity. So here, when they discuss their spread to lower latitudes, they do mention mainstream atmospheric changes, but then immediately shift the focus to geomagnetic forcing. Folks, the radar echoes are spreading to lower latitudes because of the ongoing geomagnetic excursion, allowing in more charged particles and excitement of those regions of the atmosphere. It may also be a sign of the extra dust in the inner system arriving with the galactic sheet, helping to increase the echoes, but we don't even need that. The weakening magnetic field of Earth, changing the environment across the world elevation and apparently altitude as well. Yet another reason to catch up and keep up with everything. In the morning news show yesterday, we had more evidence of the solar micronova. About 40% of you regular viewers skipped that one. Then in the afternoon, it was something of a pep talk with reminders, the big burb, and a top-notch Squid Games joke, if I don't mind saying so. We greatly appreciate your support. Catch up on all the videos. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.